Hi everybody, my name's Anne, I'm from Bricks for Kids and I'm also here with the Melton City Council Learning Directory and today we are going to space. Isn't that exciting? We're actually going to build our very own moon orbit model and we're going to talk about gravity and the force and the mass and the orbit. So today we're going to do our moon orbit model and we'll go straight into it. So first and foremost, we'll need our base plate, but if you don't um, have one, that's okay. So we need um, two tech plates, two by eight. It looks like this, like this. And we're gonna place it in the middle. Again, you could place it anywhere, but ideally middle would be the best. So that will be um, in the center of your build. So just like that. And we'll need another one. And we're just gonna layer it on top like so. So we have two pieces of um, two by eight, like that. And on the side, looks like that. Step three, we need two pieces of the tech brick one by four. That's one, two, and we need four pieces of the tech plate. That's one, two, so we need four, and two pieces of the one by two with an axle hole. So we're gonna assemble two pieces of this one. I'll show you how to do it. So we'll pick up the one by four and two pieces of the tech plate, stack them up like this. And we're gonna place it like so. And we're gonna grab the one by two and we're gonna put it on top. So this is the first piece like that. And we'll do the same on the other one, stack it up and one by two on top of it. Now next up, we will need two pieces of the axle pin friction, the blue one, two pieces, and two tech pin friction. So I'll show you the difference. This one has the axle on the other end, and this one has two um, pin frictions on each end. So with this piece, we're gonna connect the axle onto the axle hole, like so, and the tech pin friction right at the bottom. We'll just pop it in like this. So it looks like that. We're gonna do the same. Axle to the axle hole and tech pin right in the middle. So that's two pieces. Now step number five, we just need to attach two of these. So one at each end. This is a tech brick one by 12. So we're gonna pick up this and we're going to Clip it on like this. So right on the edge. I'll do the same on the other end. And now we're gonna attach it onto our tech plate. So I'm just gonna adjust this, make sure all the tubes are facing the same direction like this. So you could do it this way too. So you can check that everything's facing the same direction. I'm just gonna pop it back in. And now we are going to put this in, in the middle, like that. And again, lining it up. That's it. Now step number seven, we need one motor, two tech pin friction, this one. It's two, and we need axle number three. This one right here. And we're just gonna pop it in the middle of our motor. So base facing up, we are going to attach our tech pin friction to one at the top and one at the bottom, like this. Next up, we need one piece of one by 12 and one piece of the gear eight tooth. So we're gonna connect these pieces together. So again, lifting our motor, we are going to align our tech brick. Try to um, place it in the middle. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna just try and clip it in like this. And with our gear tooth, we're just gonna put it on our axle like so. So after we've done this bit, we're gonna move on to step number nine. Using this base of the motor, we're gonna clip it on to this structure. 
There you go. Now we are going to use our color kit. So we need a one brick of a two by four and another two by four. You can choose whatever color that you like, but I'm gonna try and make the earth colors. So we need one brick two by two. So we're just gonna assemble these first. So this is the base. We're gonna clip it in like this. So one knob hanging, and we're gonna attach our two by two brick like this. So this is our first piece. Now we just need a two by four, the green one, and a two by three. So this is a two by three, two by four. So we're gonna place our two by three, aligning it to our blue, and we're gonna attach our two by four just above our green piece like this. And we're gonna continue building it up. So for the third piece, we need another two by four, blue one, and then a green two by two, and a brick one by two. So we don't have a one by two, we can use two one by ones. That's totally okay. So we're gonna put the blue in the middle like this. And the green one here. And we're just gonna use our one by one. Like that. So we'll pick up another two by four, a two by two green, and a two by two blue. We need two greens, two by two. So these are our last pieces. We'll put the blue in the middle and two greens on each end. We might need to adjust it a little bit. So this is our earth. You guys can try and adjust it however you want it. That's okay. All right, so next step, we'll go back to our project kit. We need our gear tooth, one piece, an axle pin, this time a non-friction. We're gonna press it down onto this one. So there you go, like this, making sure it's in place. And then axle gear facing down. We're gonna lock it up like that. So we're gonna flip this and we are going to, using the non-friction pin, we're gonna clip it right here on the third one. One, two, three. Making sure this gear aligns with our gear number eight. So it looks like that. So moving on, we'll need one piece of axle number 12, another gear tooth, and a one piece of a tech connector. So we just need three pieces. So now we're gonna assemble it. Holding our axle number 12 upright, we are going to pop it in to our gear 40 tooth like so, and our tech connector, we're gonna slide it on the other end, like this. So both ends, looks like this. And next up, we'll need another set of axle 12, axle number six, and an axle joiner. So we need three of those, I'll pick up um, axle number six and join it, insert it onto the axle joiner. And axle number 12 right on the other end. We're gonna attach it like so, looks like this. So axle six goes into the tech connector. This is axle six, this is axle 12. Next up, we'll need one piece of the tech connector and an axle pin friction. So the blue ones. So using this side, we're gonna slide it onto our axle number 12. Looks like this. And we are going to connect our axle onto the connector. So it looks like this. 
Now we're just going to attach it onto our one by 12 right here on the third one. So one, two, three. We'll just place it like this. So now we're gonna build our moon. We just need three two by twos, two one by two, and one two by four. And you can choose whatever color that you want. That's okay, that's totally fine. So now I'm just gonna assemble it like this. Side, and we just need two by two on the top end and another two by two on the lower end. So this is our moon structure. Now we're gonna flip it like so, and we're gonna attach this one onto our um, non-friction tech pin like this. So this is our moon and this is our earth. Now we are going to try and test it if our moon is gonna orbit around our earth. So I'm just gonna clip it. this. I'm going to switch it on. There you go. And this is our moon orbit. So today I'm going to share a fun fact for you guys. Did you guys know that the Earth's moon is the fifth largest in the whole solar system? And it's even bigger than the planet Pluto. Did you guys ever wonder if people have ever been to the moon? So on July 1969, Apollo 11 was the first spacecraft to land two astronauts on the moon. Today we're going to learn a few key terms. These are orbit, gravity, mass, astronomer, and force. So the first key term is orbit. It's the curved path of a celestial object or spacecraft around a star, planet, or moon. So the next key term is gravity. It is the force that attracts objects towards the Earth or toward each other. So the third key term for today is mass. So mass is the amount of matter in an object. Usually the heavier the object, the more mass it has. Do you guys ever wonder why the moon always stays around the Earth and not float away into space? So the answer to that question is force. Force is a strength or energy such as push or pull exerted on an object. So forces we can see and some forces we can't see. Some forces we can see, like if we're pushing or pulling, like if we play tug of war and we're pushing and pulling. And then there are forces that we cannot see. Like for example, if you hold a ball in your hands and drop it, what happens to the ball? It falls to the ground, right? Why is the reason for that? The answer for that one is gravity. 